hi guys welcome back to my channel today's video is a vlog so i hope you enjoy right now i'm about to go live with uh, a fantastic guest mrs modupen Yulaye. she's a family lawyer here in canada and she's just going to be sharing with us some challenges that married couples go through when they relocate to canada and how to deal with some of these issues uh that is what i'm doing in the morning and then in the afternoon i'm going out to see some friends we're just going to spend the weekend with some friends you guys let's talk a little bit about adult friendships because this particular date that i'm going on with my family um we've had to plan it for like a month ahead we had to sit down and really check each other's calendars and be like okay what day are you free what day am I free? And let's reconcile our calendars so that we can actually find time to meet up. Is anybody else experiencing this or is it just me? I really need to know because, I don't know, friendships, adult friendships these days are hard. I had to blot off some of the moisturizer I had on my face. It's a bit too shiny. I think it's okay now. But anyway, let's go ahead and draw a live session. I hope you guys actually join my live sessions. There's always something to learn, trust me. Anyway, let's do that. This is the next day. I just got off the phone with my loctician, so I just booked my appointment. I'm going to be having a wash and a relock of my hair. Uh, I like the way she washes my hair. Like she really cleanses it very well to make sure that all the products, beauty ups are out. So I'm I'm excited. I'm looking forward to that appointment. Uh, also, I have a bunch of boxes here to unbox. I have um, some items that I ordered from Amazon for acne. I'm breaking out a little bit on my forehead. I don't know if you guys can see. Uh, and then on top of that, I got my Teddy Blake bag. So a new Teddy Blake bag and purse. So like a purse and a wallet. But yeah, I'll show you guys everything. I'm super excited to unbox you yeah, guys. I actually love unboxing. Let me know if you like seeing unboxing videos. I love unboxing. I love watching people unbox. But I don't know if you guys like it, so let me know. <laughs> so let's unbox the Teddy Blake package first. So like I said, I have two items in this box. I got a wallet and I also got a bag. So yeah, let's go ahead and open that. Uh, Teddy Blake, New York. Okay. Uh, so yeah, this is the wallet that I got. I wanted to get matching bag and wallet just because, you know, I'm growing up. I need to start, you know representing so yeah this is the purse or uh, wallet that i got it's the teddy blake zip wallet croco in dark red so i absolutely love this i don't know if you guys have noticed but all my teddy blake stuff at this point have croco prints and i just am you know very obsessed with croco so yeah obviously made in italy really pretty i loved it Next up is my Teddy Blake bag. <laughs> you guys, I went for red because I'm always very basic, going with neutral colors. The last time I went for black, but I'm like, you know what? This time I'm going for red, okay? Like, red is, is life at this time. So yeah, I went with red for both of the items. And so yeah, if you open it, you see how much space there is in the bag. It's really pretty, premium, high quality Italian leather. And I absolutely love it. Uh, this one is the Bella Croco 12 inch bag. So I absolutely love that it's just open. You can literally throw this bag, you throw things in it and it just swallows it up. I absolutely love it. I think it's gonna be one of my favorite um, travel bags moving forward. 
so yeah i absolutely love it but yeah uh this is what it looks like it has some you know secret chambers <laughs> uh that you can just hide some important stuff in so i like that but yeah again really nice quality premium italian leather i like that it has a nice long strap i can always just attach to it so yeah i'm matching purse and wallets isn't that so grown up <laughs> anyway this is the stuff that i got for acne so this is supposed to be like an acne removal tool and this is just a facial brush i've used one of these before uh when i had my very terrible breakout uh in my during my first winter in canada this was actually one of the tools that i used to cleanse my face uh with the cetaphil gentle cleanser uh, I didn't really include it in that skincare routine because it's obviously it's optional It's not something that has to be used, but I wanted to actually try it I've been using chemical exfoliants recently But I'm thinking of you know interchanging. Let me know what you think But I really like this one because it's so cute. It's wireless. Well, usually they come with batteries, but this one you charge the station and then put it on it i'll show you what it looks like in my bathroom i think it's it's really cute so these are the two items that i ordered on amazon i might leave the links to these in the uh description box of this video or somewhere in the comments just so you guys can check it out if you want to so this is what it looks like unboxed this is the brush you guys it's actually so cute the one that i used the last time was not this cute it used like regular aa batteries this one you charge it like it tells you what the battery level is it's super cute you guys i can't speak i don't know what's going on with me <laughs> and it has different brushes so some of them are softer than others so depending on what you're trying to do like you can even use it on your feet or you know for whatever part of your body that you want to use it for then that's the acne removal well i think it's like blackhead and whitehead removal tools i've never used these before so i'm kind of skeptical but we'll see we'll see how it goes this is what it looks like in my bathroom i think it's it's just super cute super 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 cute both of them are uh chargeable so they come with usb type chargers anyway it's time to cook so i got some shrimps um, just frying them up and looking to make some pasta so my pasta is always with tomato sauce I don't do any other type of pasta like all these you know Alfredo and you know the ones that have cheese and all of that I do not like those so my pasta is always t with tomato sauce so yeah frying up some shrimps veggies and putting them in the pasta it looks yummy and it was yummy <laughs> um so yeah this this is pretty much how i make my pasta majority of the time i'm very simple with it i don't like to overwhelm it so but yeah it's yummy next up it's time to make some chicken i got some chicken thighs and chicken wings first off you people huh aren't you tired of ordering wings me i'm tired of ordering wings like i decided that you know what i'm going to make my own wings in the house today i can't be ordering one pound of wings for 16 dollars like things have changed so much i remember when one pound of wings used to go for uh 12 dollars 10 dollars even and it would be mad like now one pound of wings is like 16 17 dollars by the time you add tax and everything you're paying almost 20 dollars just for a pound of wings isn't that ridiculous anyway this is just me making my my wings by myself because why i don't have money to to spend <laughs> ordering wings i've been trying to do more like myself you know i yeah i can't be ordering wings all the time it's it's crazy so yeah, I'm combining these two sauces. Uh, Nando's will always be one of my favorites. I love their lineup of sauces. So 
of course I'm using them in this video and I also like when my sauce is a little bit sweet so I like not just hot but also sweet so that's why I added that sweet chili pepper or sweet sweet uh, oh lord sweet chili sauce that's what it is <laughs> anyway I'm just uh, I'm just rubbing the sauce all over my chicken and putting it back in the oven just for it to dry a little bit because that's how I like it and that's how my family likes it so yeah this is pretty much what I'm doing for the rest of the video I hope you enjoy um, but yeah thank you very much for watching this video if you like this kind of video let me know in the comment section that you like it so that I'll know that uh, I should feel more like this I usually just you know stick with my sit down videos and live videos every now and then but if you like vlogs if you like to see this kind of videos let me know and i will feel more for you uh i personally enjoy watching people's vlogs so um yeah i would be happy to feel more as things happen in my life <laughs> But yeah, again, let me know if you enjoy it. Obviously, give this video a thumbs up if you did. And let me know if you get notifications for my videos. Because these days, I get a lot of people saying, like, welcome back to YouTube, welcome back to YouTube. I'm like, ah, welcome back, Bao. I've been here. I'm still posting. I post shorts. I post live videos. And I post, like, my normal sit-down videos, too. So, yeah, if you're not getting notification for my videos, let me know in the comment section. I don't know what's happening with YouTube. But yeah, thanks again for watching and I hope you have a great day. Bye.